Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters in the Lord. I bless you all once again in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Quickly, I want to speak on the word of God, which I titled, Go for the word of God. Amen, somebody. But before we go for the word, let us pray. Everlasting King of kings, eternal rock of ages, the God of our ancestors, the great I am that I am, once again, your word is about to come. I say, breath on your word. Use your word. Let as many that will hear the sound of my voice be quickened by the power of your word. My Lord and my Savior, every spirit of devourer, every spirit of destruction that will make this world not to make manifest in the life of your children. We bind them in the name of Jesus. We come against them in the name of Jesus. So that in the end, all glory and adoration will be given to you, God Almighty. I say, once again, take all the glory, take all the adoration. For in Jesus' almighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are watching from, my name is Ev Mrs. Evangelist Egoma. I'm speaking from a city called Verona here in Italy. As I initially said, I want to speak on the word of God, which I titled the topic, Go for the word of God. Why do I come with such an exhortation? If you go to the book of Genesis, chapter 1 from verse 27 to 29 or 30, you will see where the scripture wrote that God made man in his own image and he gave them dominion over everything on this earth but in the end men are still seeing failure god are putting everything in your possession god have given you the authority to trade over scorpion principalities and powers that will be a stronghold a hindrance to whatever you are doing that will make you not to acquire that thing god says about you as a blessing as a blessing to your generation as a blessing to your brethren but yet you are not seeing them you are lacking them Amen. I came up, came up with such an exhortation because yesterday I went for a prayer meeting. I was the one that was opportune to give the word of exhortation. A brother that was giving the prayer session before I went for the word of exhortation said we should pray for people that came from Libya. As they went for, you know, a resident permit, they refused to give it to them. They gave them what is called negative. Amen, somebody. But as after the prayer I was opportune to give a word of exhortation, I let them know that, yes, they have been given an opportunity, you know, as a child of God to acquire all these things. But yet they are not seeing it. The reason is not just because they are, they are, they are not praying. They are praying, but their prayer is not hitting in it. Why? God are putting all these things in your possession. No matter the storm, no matter whatever is an obstacle. As a child of God, these things are supposed to be given. They have to part for you to acquire those things. They have to give way for you to arrive at that your destination. But there is a stormy block. There are hindrances. There are isolation, everything. Just because you did not go for the word of God. Amen, somebody. Here in Genesis chapter 1. Look at it. It's not my word. Look at it. 27, we say, I'm using good news, uh, I mean, uh, King James Version. It says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him, male and female created in them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, behold, I have given you every half-bearing seed, which is upon the face of all earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you it shall be for meat if you continue there it is still written amen as a child of god god have given you the go ahead that everything is in your care you have to the right to speak as he made you his image and those things will become manifest but this time around you are not seeing it this brother they went for document they rejected they refused them just because they don't have the word of God in them. Remember when God spoke to Joshua in that Joshua 1, 8 and 9. He said, meditate on this word. Don't allow this word to depart from your mouth. In other words, you need to study the word of God. Study it so that you can abide by the principles of God. Because many occasions when we are looking unto something from God that we are not seeing it as a child of God, when God has already said all those things that are in our care, we have the power, we have the right to subdue, to get, to achieve, and acquire all. But yet we are not seeing it. Many of us, we are meditating, but we are not applying them. Remember the parable of the sower. In the area where God said, the, 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 the Jesus said a parable concerning 
the, some fell on the roadside. He said those signify those that hear the word of God, they have an understanding of all. But yet, some scores 100, some scores 60, some score 30. They have the word of God. They are not applying it fully. They are not obeying God principles. So when you are not obeying God principles, definitely that blessing, God will withhold them. He said it in Isaiah, in Jeremiah 18. He also said it in the book of Ezekiel chapter 18. Read from 1 to 8, you will see all these things there. He said, when he said he will bless a nation, but those nations refused to surrender, so refused to apply God's wisdom, Definitely, he will withhold what he said about them as a blessing. He will not give it to them. But those that are doing sin, they are in sin, they change to, to righteousness. He said he will bless such a nation. It's not my word, it's the word of God. God said he has given you dominion over everything. But yet those things are not coming. Remember the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I don't know who this message is referring to, who this message is talking to. Amen, somebody. Are you a child of God? God has put in everything in your head. He said, ask and it shall be given. Seek you will find. Knock and it will open. Why is it that all these things you are knocking, you are seeking, you are asking, all is not coming? Just because you are not applying the word of God. Some of them, they score 30. He said, those that fell on the roadside, Matthew 13, they are the ones that hear the word of God, they understood it. He went ahead to say, some score 100 over 100. Some score 60. I've used this word before. Some score 30. Why did they score 30 if the word of God is in there? That means they are not applying all fully. So it is time we should go for the word of God. We understand what we read. If we don't have an understanding, tell the Holy Spirit to give you the spirit of understanding. To give you the insight of the word. So that you can apply them according to the way of the Lord. Many of us today will have the word of God in us. But we are applying it in other form. We see where God said many things. He did not tell many prophets. They are lying. They are saying God said issue. God said, God said, God said. That is why when we prophesy on you and it's not coming to pass, many of them, it is not God who said it. Many God said there because you are not, you know, you are you, you are not obedient to God. Those things cannot come to manifestation as the book of Jeremiah 18 said. When God sent Jeremiah to the potter's house, he said, these things I said about you, but when you don't obey me, they will not come to manifestation. And those that are evil, when they turn from their evil way, definitely they will see the blessings of God. These are the area we need to look at as a child of God. They began to walk in the light of salvation because salvation is personal. Today in our days, many people, they make the men of God and women of God, they make them the God of their own, not God any longer. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, it is not too difficult for my God to settle. That your ugly situation is not difficult for my God to handle. Just because you did not go for the word of God. Just because you are not meditating on the word of God. It is time when you hear this one word of God. Open the Bible. Begin to study it on your own. Study it and see what God says about you. If the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord, that man, that woman in that immigration office, in that question as Italians call immigration, that gave you negative, you need to, 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 to pray as you as, as, as somebody that have a great faith. Remember what Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1 said. He said faith defined as an evidence of something you have not seen, but you believe that you will get it. Amen, somebody. I'm here to stir up your spirit. To let you know that you are a child of God. It is time when we say we are a child of God. We must know the characters of God. We must know the rules and regulations of God. So that we can stand on them and begin to apply them. No. We are not doing things that will make God to move. There is a song that said, Let us create, create a place. Release in faith for God to move. So we will see the power of God. And we will know that he is God. And we will know that he is God. So let us create. Let us create. Create a place. Release in faith for God to move. And we will see the power of God. And we will know oh, that He is God. And we will know oh, that He is God. Yes, we will know that He is God. What did the book of First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 say? First Chronicles chapter 4 verses 9 and 10. There was a man called named Jabed. 
The Bible said the meaning of Jabet me suffering, pain, sorrow. But he stood and looked unto heaven. He has that great faith in God. He knows that God said the thought he has for us is for good. It's not for evil. It's not for sorrow. He said, God, turn my sorrow to fruitfulness. Turn my sorrow to peace. Turn my sorrow to joy. And the Bible says immediately in that verse 10 of First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, God answered all he had desire. I don't know what you are passing through. Did you put the matter to the table them before God? Did you petition them to God? Isaiah 65 said, if you read from verse 1, God is waiting for us to pray so that he can help us. He said, but we are all praying with a fitting character. We are having a fitting spirit. We are not doing things that will please God, that will make the spirit of God to come and help us and manifest those things in our life. Amen. We need the presence of God. We remember in the book of Exodus, when the children of God sinned against God, the Bible said God spoke to Moses, my presence is not following you people. My angel will follow you. Angels are guiding us. The presence of God is not with us. We are praying. It's not hitting the ceiling. Let us realize all these things and come back to God. Let us come fully back to God. We say we are child of God. Our character, I'm not exempting myself. He's driving God far out of us. The presence of God is not with us. Amen, somebody. Let us begin to see all these things. And begin to change our way to serve God in truth and in spirit. Let us bring ourselves down. Let us ask for his wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. The Bible says in the book of Uzia 4, it says, My people perish because they lack the knowledge of God. They are applying the knowledge of the worldly. So they are praying, they are, they, 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 those things is not reaching anywhere, not to talk of heaven. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, let us do something before it's too late. Hallelujah, somebody. With what is written in the scripture, we will need to know the character of whom God is. It is not so difficult for my God to answer. Go for the word of God. Say the scripture. He said, meditate on this word day and night. Don't allow this word to, to depart from you. If it was not so, God wouldn't have spoken to Joshua. He said, meditate on this word. Don't allow this word to depart from you. What of that woman in the book of Luke chapter 15? If you read from verse 8 down. The Bible said this woman lost her coins. That was what she was missing. These people own her is sojourner. They need documents to stay in Italy. But they refuse to give it to them. Instead of them to go on their need to pray to God to open their understanding, to study the scripture so that the presence of God can descend on them, so that yoke can be broken, so that favor of God will follow them, and God's spirit will arrest any man, any woman that wants to give them that document. No. The Bible said this woman lost her coins. The thing she was missing was that coin. The best thing she did, she light that light. That light is the word of God. Hallelujah. That is the salvation. She used the word of God to, to find out that thing she's looking unto God for. Are you a child of God? Are you using the word of God to solve all your problems? If God said in this Genesis, he has put in everything in your care. You have power to take care, to have everything. Hallelujah. A thousand before your ten thousand. As an obstacle, a mountain, Jezebel, whatever. They cannot stand you. God has pronounced that something concerning you. But yet you are not seeing it. Then go for the word of God. Meditate on it. So that you can apply them. When you don't meditate on the word. What are you applying? Many of us today we are talking whatever we see. And God did not send us. Study the book of Jeremiah. Study the book of Ezekiel. Many of them, God did not send them. They are just using their own imagination. And people are clapping hands for them. They write on, sir. Go on, sir. Preach on, sir. May God have mercy and help us. I pray for somebody this hour. As you are watching me. Are you a child of God? I pray that God Almighty will break every yoke, things that is covering you. Not to see the, real, the reality of whom God is. Any shadow that is not of God covering you. I command all to be broken. Through the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. I release the anointing of God upon you. That God Almighty will have mercy upon you. Including me, I'm not exempted than our family. So that we can swim in the things of God. The Bible says in the book of, I think Psalm 81 verse 10. It says, those who are hungry, they should come me with feeding. I pray and I use that scripture to release the anointing through the grace of God upon you. That God Almighty will feed you. And you'll be filled with the word of God. You'll be hungry with the word of God. I relate the fire of God in Jeremiah 20 now upon you. Many things that want to draw you back, but the Spirit of God will arrest you as he arrests Jeremiah and pour more fire on Jeremiah to do a slot in the kingdom of God. I release that anointing upon you now. That you will serve God in truth and in spirit. You will not be tired to serve the scripture and read the scripture and release the grace for you to abide with the things of God. 
I pray in the name of Jesus, according to the word of God in Ezekiel chapter 36, from verses 25 to 30, that God said he will remove every stubborn, every stone heart. Anything that will be making the grace of God not to be upon you, the presence of God not to be upon you, by the power in the name of Jesus, I stand in that scripture of Ezekiel 36, that the power of God will break every yoke and remove all those stubborn hearts out of your life and release that of God upon you so that you can swim in the things of God so that whatever you are looking unto God for immediately you will see them without wasting time in the mighty name of Jesus all God decree concerning you in lamentation chapter 3 verse 37 it is only that I pray and I release that prophecy upon you that will stand in your life other things I command all to wither in Jesus name whatever that is not of God in you I command it to be uprooted by Matthew 13 15 in Jesus almighty name I pray 11 15 13 Jesus name I say, take all the glory, Father, take all the adoration. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want you to say the scriptures. It is not too difficult for my God to handle. Go for the word of God. As that woman use, you know, light, that is the word of God, to send that drachma, to say, some scriptures say drachma, some scriptures say coins. She used it to search that thing that was missing her. Are you looking for a husband? Are you looking for the fruit of the womb? Are you looking for healing? Are you looking for peace? I don't know whatever you are looking unto God for. You need the salvation of God to come to your home. Many of us, the word of God is not in us. We are empty. I pray that God Almighty will deliver as many of us that are in that category of group of Christians in Jesus' name. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I don't want to waste much of your time. Go to all these scriptures, Joshua 1, read all. Read the book of Genesis 1 as I read from 27 to 20, now 30. All these things are there. Go to the book of Luke chapter 15. As I read from verse 8, that woman that lost this coins, I'm saying. She used the word of God, that light. The Bible said the lamp is on my head, the book of Job, and the light is on my the path. That path is for salvation. Own it. Avail yourself for that lamp to be on so that the light can appear. Hallelujah, somebody. I want you to know all these things. And you began to see the glory of God. It's not difficult. You that they refuse to give a sojourn or two, the paper, the documents of this Italy. Remember, many of our people are doing evil. That is causing them not to do all these things. But pray that evil people does will never come and stay you. Remember in the book of the same Joshua 7, a man called uh, Achan went to go and steal in the camp in the, in, 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 where they were the enemy. Those things that God said they should burn, he stole them all this cup of gold or bruise he, he dug where he was sleeping he, under the tent and he hide them the bible said many soldiers went to war toward the city of Ai, but surprisingly the enemy you know overpowered them and subdued and killed some of the soldiers and, and joshua put on a sackcloth in those days as they were you know fasting and praying telling god this is what they are passing through so god revealed to joshua and other prophets around the Aaron that somebody among you has stayed and they use it to rob you i pray for you once again this hour that may you not go and rob yourself with anything that is not of god every spirit of lot in your life that will cause a delay for you not to be fruitful because the bible says abraham as god spoke to him in the book of you know genesis chapter 12 leave your father and your mother home and go to where I will show you and, and give you a fruitful life, you and your wife. But he went with his uncle, nephew or uncle, a uh, uh, child. That was Lot. So because of this, the pronunciation of blessings of God upon you was delayed. I released that prophecy that God will open your understanding. Whatever will cause a hindrance or delay, obstacle in your life, I command all to wither right now. I pray that the Spirit of God will give you the insight. Open your spiritual eye, give you the spirit of discernment to know those things in the spirit so can you can do away with all those things that will delay you, that will cause hindrances in your life for you not to manifest, for you not to possess your possession, for you not to move ahead in the mighty name of Jesus. I release that anointing upon you right now. Once again, that you'll be the head, never the tail, a successor, a promoter. In the mighty name of Jesus, a virtue man, a virtue one you'll be. I pray for you to accept. You began to grow, grow from glory to glory. Move ahead. You will shine. You will be a light 
a light, a house built in a big city or he that you be a light, other people will receive blessing. In the name of I pray for that grace and the anointing of God will be upon you. For in Jesus' almighty name, go and possess your possession. For in Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I would like to leave you. I thank you for the time being for you to listen. And I also advise you, encourage you for you to subscribe from my channel and encourage other people to subscribe and send all these messages to them. Let them listen to them and use it and apply them so that they can see the grace of God through the patience they are having, through the tolerance, through the perseverance, through all those nine fruits of the spirit that God said we should apply so that it can come fully and the presence of God will be seen. I release also that, uh, that blessing upon you in Jesus' name. Let me leave you here until I see you next time. I say bye-bye for now. For in Jesus' almighty name, I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.